YouTube family. Welcome back or welcome to Recruiting Board. I'm Alex Segura and I'm thankful to be bringing you another week of high school football. Third time I'm uploading this week, guys. We are big time here on the channel. During the week, I have no free time. And on the weekends, I have absolutely no free time because I am dedicating it all to this channel. That's how much I love you guys. We are the best family here on YouTube. I went back up to my hometown of Exeter, New Hampshire, and I got to watch Phillips Exeter Academy play Deerfield Academy. To be honest with you, Exeter has not been a good program for a while now. However, their new coach, Coach Volgaris, is changing the culture over there. He's brought in a lot of great talent and he is coaching them up. I know a lot of college coaches that I've spoken to have a lot of confidence he's gonna change them around and he has so far. They are an undefeated team. This team is led by guys that we covered last year. So Tristan Abood, who is the governor's quarterback, he's doing a post-grad year at Phillips Exeter. Xavier Baskin, who was at Swampscott last year, He's doing a post-grad year. Then they got guys like Kevin Wong, who is a stud, linebacker, safety, all-around beast, hard hitter on defense. Aaron Morris, who's a Harvard commit. I'm excited to watch him play because I hear he can absolutely fly. And then their line is stacked. Starting with UMass commit Uber Ajanga. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, bro. He's six foot five, and I'm very excited to see him play for the first time. Then when we go over to Deerfield, so Deerfield is coached by coach Brian Barbado, who is an Exeter guy himself. He's actually an Exeter legend. Everybody, when I was growing up, we all heard about Barbado. He played at UNH, was coaching at UNH for a while. So this is a homecoming game for him. And Deerfield historically has produced a lot of talent. Hunter Long, who now plays for the Miami Dolphins, he did a post-grad year at Deerfield. They had a guy that signed with Stanford last year, a receiver. And this year's team is led by guys like Ty Curran, wide receiver DB, actually the son of Dan Kern at Merrimack College, so you know he's got great genetics. Christian Revis, who's a hard-hitting linebacker. Tristan Ward, who had three touchdowns, I believe it was last week, against Salisbury. However, the player at Deerfield I'm most looking forward to is 2025 quarterback Cole Gear. Cole made some noise this summer. Again, only a sophomore, but he ended up getting a couple offers from UMass, UConn, and then two power five schools, Virginia Tech and Boston College, before he even had any film. This was all based off of workout film. From the coaches I know that coached against him so far, they say he is legit. It's kind of funny because I'm going to a game in my hometown and I'm not watching the Blue Hawks, so this is gonna be kind of a weird, bittersweet feeling for me. Because, I mean, being honest, we used to beat up on PEA when I was in high school, but the tide has churned since Coach V got there. That is for sure. I wanna take this time though, Everyone, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Especially if you're from both these two schools. Show support. I'm putting New England on. I'm going out. I'm helping these dudes get the attention that they need. I'm covering high school football games. And the least you can do is show support by subscribing to the channel. Like 90% of the people that watch my channel aren't subscribed to my channel. And I'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers before the season's over. And if you really love me, which I know you do, right? Hit that bell so you know every time I post. Phillips Exeter Academy versus Deerfield Academy. Saturday Night Lights. Let's jump into the highlights. The Big Red. There's Ty. For his action, seeing Cole Gear. Wow, delay a game first play. Wanted. Seven seven says no 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 no. It's a 
beautiful fall night here. Just saying. Baskin. A bird. They got him. 5 3 on the tackle. Quick pass. Bud. He's down. Give it to Basket and Basket is in. Touchdown. Xavier Baskin is in. Oh, five, five, bro. Five, five. Gear. Oh, wrong. Oh, X. I was about to say, I still see him at church. Yeah. He goes to St. Michael's. Okay, yeah. And I was about to say, like, I still see him around, so I know he's still here. Oh, damn. Wow. Looking deep. Oh, he got it.
Gold gear. Is that a first? Let's see. Yeah, they got it. Oh, damn. Wow. Thirty-one seconds. Abood looking. Gets it to his man. Touchdown. Easy money. Wow. Oh, they got a boot. Deerfield scores on a trick. Coach, what a win. To be honest with you, I thought it'd be a little bit closer, but it wasn't. You know, talk about the game and, you know, give me a summary. They're a good football team. We anticipated it being a lot closer as well. It just, field position early in the game was in our favor, and that just kind of triggered some momentum for us, and, and that was the difference early. And then once we got ahead, we were able to kind of keep that momentum going, and, and good things happened for us. The kids executed, and they played their butts off tonight. As long as I've been, I've been an exit local for a little bit now, and I can't say that I've ever said Exeter is better than Deerfield, but that wasn't the case tonight. Just talk about what you're building here, Coach, because year two is looking good. Yeah, kids that love to practice, and that's a big difference. If they love to practice, they're unselfish, they play together every day, it makes teaching and learning a lot more seamless. And that's what's happening right, on a daily basis here. Kids who love to come to practice, play with enthusiasm, have a great work ethic, and more unselfish. And when you do that, good things happen, and that's what's happening. You want to comment on your defense? They flew to the football. They played with their hair on fire. That's what we asked them to do. They were wonderful tonight.
What would you say is the biggest difference between last year and this year? Because it's a completely different team, it looks like. You know, I think there's a lot of similarities, actually, because the work ethic was there a year ago. We just have, you know, we're a year better at the line of scrimmage with our offensive line. We have a couple of returners who have improved and developed over the last year. And so, and then the new guys have worked in seamlessly. Sure, I, I get it. The wins and losses are a little bit different, but the framework is very similar to a year ago. What does this do for your team momentum moving forward? Because, you know, this is a big win over a pretty good team. We have to stay disciplined, stay the course, know that we're not going to surprise anybody at this point, so we have to stay disciplined, stay the course, and be focused on the little things, and uh, so the bigger things can take care of themselves. We got four foot four, uh, 100 pound quarterback Tristan Abood here. Tristan, big win tonight. Historically, a way better, typically a better team, Deerfield, but something's changed here at Exeter. Oh, yeah, we're ready. We're, I mean, we got Coach V here. He's a great guy, great coach, and like his game plan is just next level. We got a group of great guys, and everyone wants to work. Like, everyone's putting the work on the field, off the field, so. We're just all excited to play in the league. You want to talk about the defensive effort today? Oh, yeah. Our defense is just, they're insane. Our coach says play with your hair on fire, and they do that every play. What was clicking for you guys on offense? Offense? I mean, RPO. We just play that RPO game so well, and then we'll just catch it on top with some deep balls all the time. And also our special teams. Our special teams. Are really good. Right. That helps a lot. I mean, field position was so big in this game. Absolutely. Who are some of your teammates that have been stepping up this year for you guys? So we have number 13. He's our he's our playmaker. He runs like 10, 7, 100. He's crazy fast. Uh, he's uh, he's coming to Harvard right now. Aaron Morris. Mm -hmm. We have our line. Our line is huge. Like they're really nice and they're good. And then X, obviously. Xavier, Jesus. Everyone knows who X is. Yeah, of course. You know the expectations for the rest of the season, brother. Yeah take it one week at a time week in week out we just focus on who we have coming up and just we're 0-0 right now we forget about 5-0 we're 0-0 want to shout out your friends and family yeah man i mean shout out my aunt and her best friend they flew out to come watch my game and obviously my parents they drive down all my games like six hour drives so from canada yeah it's truly appreciated for everyone. yeah damn they go through customs and everything mm -hmm. <laughs> every week Every week. And then, uh, where, what's your social media? It's where can your fans find you? Just uh, Tristan Abood. Yeah, that's just putting my name and it'll pop up. Sure. And then, what, what can these college coaches, when they're recruiting you, you know, what can they expect out of you? I mean, I'm just putting in 100% effort week in, week out. I mean, I'll blo I, I put my body on the line for my team. I'm not scared of doing that. And I'm just excited to play. Man. Of course. Hey, shout out recruiting board, man. <laughs> Absolutely.